greetings from the Frederick Town Homestead. Me and my five-year-old Amish friend here are walking back to the van. We just found a corner and uh, we're walking back. My boss is trying to get through from the line we, the corner we found back to the start. It's really thick pucker brush and now this boy may have a hard time getting through it. So he's coming back with me and we're going to drive back with a van. It's about a mile walk through Beanfield. We uh, spotted some really delicious black walnut trees in there. Really nice. These trees would be worth maybe three to five hundred a piece, maybe more, but probably in that place range, right? three to five hundred. That'd be a 26 DV8, 26 inch diameter of breast height. We're walking in the neighbor's bean field. I'm just going to look at the tech tractor when we get back, see how far we did walk. We felt like we walked quite a ways. It's hard to tell. We haven't been looking for standing timber of late because of the timber prices. People call us. That was the case in this case. The guy called my mill says, can you come look at my land? I've got some wood to sell. I'd like you to come look at it. So we don't have to go looking for wood like we used to. Very rarely I go out and find corners or lines for the mill, but we don't go looking for timber the way we used to. We used to spot timber from the satellite image. And uh, the one thing the satellite image doesn't tell you is whether that timber is for sale or not. So we go and knock the door. The Exxon app gives you the address of the landowner as well as the boundaries. And uh, that's the way we used to do it, but we haven't done that in several months now. People just call the mill and say, I got wood to sell. And uh, we offer such a good price for the standing timber that we don't have to go looking for it anymore. This is all beans on corn. Just like you see in Facebook. Not Facebook, YouTube. Cold corn star and uh, the millennial farmer that I was talking about beans on corn. That's the way it used to be, but the corn prices the way they are this year is over seven bucks a bushel. Nobody's planting beans very much. This is a rarity here. People are planting corn on corn, which is uh, shooting themselves in the foot. They use up all the nutrients that corn uses and deplete the soil and they also double up on the poison they use to kill the weeds because they use the same chemicals year after year and it builds up residue residual and uh, but that's what the corn prices are doing Ooh, I'm out of breath. If you had enough walking in bean fields yet, I'll let you go. All right, and God bless from the Frederick Town Homestead.